So guys, we now know that Vasil Lomachenko is going to fight Anthony Kroller. Uh, a lot of Lomachenko fans or people in the boxing world will probably be disappointed because they think it's an easy fight for Lomachenko. Um, I think Lomachenko will have to move up to weights that that put him at a disadvantage where he's so much the smaller man in order to get com in order to see competitive fights with him in with him in the ring with somebody because I think Lomachenko is so good that I think it's going to be very difficult for anybody to put up a in around his weight to put up a decent fight against him because he's that good. A lot of people think Javante Davis gives Lomachenko trouble. I think Lomachenko would absolutely destroy Javante Davis. I think the only way uh, Lomachenko would be put in a fight or put in a position where he could actually lose a fight is um, him being put into uh, you know him fighting at 140, 147 pounds, where he's at, where he's so much smaller than these than these guys. He's so much smaller, um, and I, and I don't think otherwise he gets tested because. Linares was a good fighter, 135, great champion. There's probably not anybody at 135 that's better than Linares, right? Uh, probably Mikey Garcia, but, I, I, you know, uh, Linares was probably the second best after him. And Lomachenko, apart from being knocked down, right, and that was just a good shot, and he caught him off balance. He wasn't very hurt very badly. He schooled Linares. He beat Linares up from, what, from the fight that I was watching. So... I don't, I don't know how Lomachenko is going to be tested. I think Lomachenko against Krola, I think Krola will come and try, but I just think Lomachenko is going to be too good for him and too good. The only way Lomachenko gets tested is if Lomachenko is put in a position where he's so much out of his comfort zone, where he's fighting somebody that's so much bigger and stronger than him and has so many physical advantages over him that it makes the fight competitive. Otherwise, I don't even I don't I don't think anyone around 135 and even 140 could potentially beat him. I, I think Lomachenko's that good. I think he's that good. You know, I think the guy's a machine. His movement, his boxing skill. Look, this guy's had what 397 or 400 amateur fights. He lost one. He lost one. That's ridiculous. If you tell people about that amateur record, they'll say, "Blimey." They'll say, "That is ridiculous." That's what people will say. Is that even possible? Like, I spoke to many boxers about his record and they say, wow, how is that even possible? Like, that's, that's how good what, what Lomachenko's achieved. That's how good it, it is, you know. So the only way Lomachenko's going to get tested if he's put in a position where he's at such a big disadvantage. Otherwise, you're not going to, otherwise Lomachenko's not going to get beat. It's as simple as that. He's too good. He's a lot more skilled. I even think he beats Mikey Garcia. If I'm totally honest with you, I think he beats Mikey Garcia. I think he's too good. I think it's very hard to hit him. I think, look, listen, I think Linares was able to catch him with that right hand straight down the pipe, you know. But you probably think that he won't get caught with that. But that's the only success he had in the whole fight. And Linares is a world-class fighter. And then he knocked Linares out, who was the bigger man. So his power was carried up to that weight category as well. He knocked out probably the best light, lightweight at that part time. Mikey Garcia has obviously moved up. Mikey Garcia is probably the top guy as well. But Linares and Mikey Garcia were the best guys. And he knocked him out and he dominated him. And I think he would dominate Mikey Garcia as well, if I'm honest with you. I think he would dominate Mikey Garcia uh, unless Mikey Garcia can land something to hurt him. Which I don't think he can. Because I think from boxing skill, I don't think Mikey Garcia is going to be able to stand with him, if I'm honest. So the only way uh, Mikey Garcia can win that fight, if he can knock out Lomachenko, which again is not easy to do because Lomachenko's moving all over the place. He's dancing from side to side. He's a very tricky fighter to, to pin down, uh, Lomachenko. He's a world-class fighter, world-class. He's in a league of his own. Uh, but that's the only way I think Lomachenko's going to be in a competitive fight where he's going to where he's gonna have to go up to a weight where he's at a massive, massive physical advantage. But leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.